It's Friday. Good morning and welcome today to our daily prayers. I was just chatting with um, some friends and we were talking about the fact that at this time of year, um, we're just starting to notice the days lengthen as it's sort of stretching from half past four to five to half past five. It can be still light. And I guess at this time of year in particular, we become much more aware suddenly, oh, it's still light. Whereas a few weeks ago, it was very, very dark. The changing of the seasons. And so today we come to our Lord together now. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. And we have been looking at First Thessalonians, where Paul is commending those people on their labour prompted by love. And we're going to be thinking a tiny bit more about that for the next couple of days. And to do that, we've got our reading from Matthew 25. This is at verse 34. Then the king will say to those on his right, come, you are blessed by my father. Take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger and you invited me in. I needed clothes and you clothed me. I was ill and you looked after me. I was in prison and you came to visit me. Then the righteous will answer him. Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you? Or thirsty and give you something to drink? When did we see you a stranger and invite you in or needing clothes and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and go to visit you? The king will reply. Truly I tell you, whoever you did, whatever you did for the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. And I guess it's a reminder that when Apostle Paul talks about labour prompted by love, the gift is to see in each person that we come into contact with, actually what we're doing is loving and serving Jesus Christ. Now, let's be honest about this. For certain people who are just lovely people and we really like, and they may be very Christian, it's somehow easy to do them a favour, to be glad to serve them. But there are others, and it's different for each of us, who we can find difficult frustrating and somehow our patience wears very thin but Christ is in them as well and one thing a Christian does is to seek to see Christ in each and every person let's face it sometimes it won't come entirely naturally so maybe a good thing to do is to pray that we might that God might give us the eyes to see Jesus in each of these people perhaps especially those we find difficult. And you probably know where I'm going with this to suggest that maybe today you picture in your mind someone with whom you do find it difficult to pray that God may give you the eyes to see Jesus in them. The space to reflect and pray now. And so as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. 
Amen. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and for evermore. Amen.